Hi everybody. So I had my shoulder surgery exactly six weeks ago and I had my second post-op just today, earlier today, and um, the surgeon said um, that I can go ahead and try playing the cello if I want to. Um, it's been tough six weeks, uh, let me tell you, it's, it's one of the most painful things that I've ever had to go through and it's, it's very, very slow. The recovery is painful and it seems like it never ends, uh, especially the first couple of weeks uh, were really difficult um, for me. Uh, sleeping was almost impossible in, in bed, so I had to sleep sitting up. All kinds of challenges by not using one hand. My, my, I'm right-handed, so this was the uh, right shoulder uh, that was operated on. Um, the rotator rotor cuff was fixed, um, things were put in place, and screws were put in there. And uh, things are getting definitely better, uh, although I'm still like probably 50 or 60 percent as far as strength goes, and maybe 70 or 80 as far as the uh, range of motion. So um, the doctor said I can try the cello. So I thought it would be kind of interesting to do uh, do it on video and see uh, what it looks like. Uh, it's going. It's not going to be great. Uh, not pretty. Um, I think I have not played a cello yet, so this is like a really jumping uh, into the deep end of the pool after after not swimming for many many uh, weeks, I guess, or in this case, not playing the cello for exactly six weeks. I've never done that actually. Never had a break that long. Maybe the most a week here and there, um, but still very rarely. So six six weeks of not actually playing anything. Um, it's very unusual. I tried once a few weeks ago to do some pizzicato and my hand was still in a sling and I paid a huge price for it because I was in pain for the next day or so uh, just by, by trying to lift that arm at that time. Now it's a lot better. I have a better range of motion, but you know, it's not ideal yet. So here's uh, Saraband from the first suite. I, I'm probably going to be able to only play a half of it or We'll see. Uh, and uh, here's a test of what one sounds like after six weeks after a shoulder surgery. surprised because I was I was really expecting much much worse uh, from this and I you know there are so many things that you go through uh, in your mind while recovering from something like this including things like that I will never play again or you know I have to f find some other uh, profession I guess uh, it seems like uh, I'll be able to play again and I'm playing already even though I, I, I was really um, worried about this. So it seems like it's, it's better than I thought and um, I think I'll be back in, at work um, with the PSO in a, about a month and a half or so. I think I, I really need much more strength 
uh, for playing in orchestra, sitting in rehearsals for you know two and a half hours and playing concerts. This was enough. This, I mean, this is three minutes, and I'm done. This is all. I'm, I'm going to have to put ice on it. So I'll probably make another video soon about this, and maybe document a little bit more of challenges uh, that that come with this is kind of surgery. Um, everybody keeps asking me, is it was it um, work related? And uh, when I ask the doctors, they say no, it, they don't really know. It's uh, sometimes it happens because of because of uh, uh, an injury of some sort. I don't think I had anything like that. It, it might be related to, to playing, and I think it might be actually, the, you know, the possibility of this is pretty high. So playing, uh, you know, hours and hours for years, and uh, a lot of times with no breaks, uh, it's, it's uh, you pay the t pay the price at the end uh, with something like that. I had a two centimeter uh, tear uh, in there, so they had to. Uh, stitch it up and there was calcium buildup that uh, caused the whole thing uh, to uh, to have the tear and so I have now um, now I have screws in there that hold things in place and uh, doing physical therapy twice a week as well as uh, exercises at home that are you know stretching those, this whole thing um, and um, things are getting a lot better of course so I'm, I'm glad with that and clearly I can still produce some type of sound on the cello. It's not great, uh, but uh, I just wanted to document that uh, for myself and for you, for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.